This is a gentle introduction to the menus in Viewer 2. The first thing you notice is, hey, hey, what's up with the me menu? Well, it's all about you. Similar to Viewer 1.23, or the same as really, you can click any menu and you can click here to tear it off should you so wish to drag it around the screen. I'm doing this though to show you that you can access some of the sidebar stuff and some other options, like for instance, my status, away and busy have been moved in here. You can of course access the preferences. And so it's an alternative means in some instances. It's just convenient though, because you think of your identity, yourself, in this avatar body, as gorgeous as it may be. <laughs> In addition, oodles of clutter have been cleaned up. Let me show you. Communicate's a great example of this, tying together, well, where you'd expect to communicate to be social with friends, groups, and so forth. Now, world, of course, here's a very, very good example. These used to be cluttered amidst other menu items. And you're like, where do I find this? Eek! <laughs> totally understandable. They're all under show. And of course, like anything else, you can just tear it off. If you love your wind light, it's all under sun. Same things here, just grouped nicely. And of course, place profile. Now there's a historical confusion between land at the parcel level and land at the region slash estate level. And we both give it to you here. So you can see, okay, there's submenus, so they must be related. Now, of course, if you're a veteran, you already know this, but especially for newcomers or your newcoming friends, it's good to have both of these right here. Of course, place profile. The eye here will also show this in the sidebar. If you want the conventional window, you have about land, about land. And you click that and you get that. See, looks familiar, but with a prettier new face. A similar case for the world map and the mini map. You may wonder, they're not in the toolbar or now it's called the bottom bar. <laughs> so where are they? Well, of course, they're right here. Again, you can just open it up. Dun, dun, dun. I should go into those detail with those things later. The ratings, maturity ratings. And then here in the world, you have the mini map. And then you can drag it about as usual. And if you are know, if you know this trick, because I, <laughs> I love popularizing, you can right click and do that sort of goody stuff with it. And of course, show the world map from the mini map if you want. Yeah, that's cool. Let's move on to build now, which is also a recipient of the great cleanup because there's no longer a build button there, but you can build using this. And of course you open the, the similar, the build tools palette. And some things have been straightened into submenus as it were options. Look at all these things. Look at all these crazy things. Of course, sometimes you're going to need them, but are you going to need them enough to clutter? Other things? We think not likely. That's why we put them all in here. So some familiar stuff, you're like, well, I want to show the light radius for selection if you're <laughs> going over six lights, naughty, naughty. But it's right here as well as things like advanced permissions, which used to be in the advanced menu and shows things like velocity or the ability to move one, the contents of one object to another, for instance. So you could do that. And here, select link parts also has an expansion. I could go into more depth about some of these later, but not to ramble on. I hope your next question, if you're a power user, is where did the advanced menu go? I love that thing. It has, of course, unsupported but useful features, and it's activated the same way. So let's do Control Alt D, and there it is. Thankfully, even though these are technically unsupported, we've cleaned them up. So there are classics in here. Snapshot stuff is grouped together nicely. This, the camera constraints and limit select distance, as it were, as well as other sorts of things where you're like, hey, I remember these, because you may have been wondering, control nine, I mean, control zero to zoom in like that. It was just moved to the advanced menu. They can still be triggered. And most power users are wanton to use those shortcuts anyway. There's more in here. So do look in here if some of your classic obscure features are like, where do they go? They have probably found their way into here. Now for practical purposes, of course, there is the sort of delineation. It's not a strict one, but you may be a power user, but don't care so much about open source development. You just want things that will benefit your building or your navigation experience. Well, if you are a developer, we have the extra develop menu and you can go in here and you can cause second life to crash and <laughs> do diagnostic things. 
this is very, very handy for geekology. And I mean that in the most complimentary way possible. One more thing. <laughs> I definitely have to call this out. You ever need help? It's right here in the help menu. We have a new brand shiny spanking new help system. Context sensitive help, which means that every window you see one of these question marks that yes, it shows help. So if, if for instance, if you're using chat and then you click the question mark, I should do a dedicated video on this too. Wicked though, eh? Yeah.